Hi everybody and welcome to Tasha Show and today we're gonna play Space Pilgrim Academy Year 3. So actually it's not today we're gonna play. <laughs> I did that video a very long time ago and my mic just didn't work. So the whole video had absolutely no voice and I was very disappointed by that. But anyway, let's play Space Pilgrim Academy Year 3. So at the times that I'm speaking here, I actually did finish the game just two days ago or three days ago. And I would say that Space Pilgrim Academy Year 3 is probably a, a better game than the Year 1 and Year 2. I think that it has much more like interesting elements to it. So let's get started. So the game once again is from Pilgrim Adventures. And this is the um, the third out of the fourth from the franchise. Well, at least from the Space Pilgrim Academy franchise, because there is a total of eight of them. So we're pretty soon at the end. All right, what does she say? The pirate vessel is almost within firing range now, Captain Dale. I should have put that at a bigger screen resolution because I cannot see it very well. <laughs> So that is Jamie, and as you can see, we will grow up. I don't know if you remember, but on the year one and year two, they are more like kids. Now they are a little bit older. And sometimes, I don't even know what I was trying to say here. Maybe I was giving some context about the story, but on year two, when you finish year two, basically Gail got arrested. And so Gail will not be at the academy but the rest of your characters are just you know at the academy because we're all kids and I really don't know why I was <laughs> waiting for so long here when I played it but anyway as you can see the game is still on RPG Maker v VX I think and you see that right now we're probably, well, we're probably, I know that <laughs> we're on a simulation. Alright, what does she say? It's about time! Feels like we've chased them clear across this galaxy. Now they're gonna pay for raiding that mining station. Alright, crew, crew, listen up. And then you have four choice. Navigator, bring us closest to the pirate ship. Operator, open up communication channels. Technician, Divert additional power to weapon system. And last one, steady as she goes. So those choices are important to to be right because otherwise you don't get the trough of the achievement. So what I decided to do is Operator Bishop, open up our communication channels. Let's see if these pirates I didn't have it. Right away, Captain. They've responded! I have an incoming signal! Let's hear it! You have the great honor of speaking with Captain Scala of the Black Wraith! Hear my words, best warden scum! You will disengage immediately! So the girl that was at the bottom uh, left is May, and the guy is the brother of Jimmy, and he's named Travis. And they are both Bishop. But obviously here you have to be careful about what you do. The first thing that you want to do in a situation where there is like pirates like this is first open up the communication channel so you can actually talk and understand what's going on. So that's what I did. And I don't know why I stay that long on this. Maybe I was talking about about the space element. Because yes, yeah, Space Pilgrim Academy is more like a sci-fi uh, type of game. It's an adventure game. And as you can see, the only things that you can really do is uh, selecting choices. Uh, use some elements here and there. So, for example, you remember those point-and-click video games? They're, this is pretty similar to this. You can 
basically pick up items and use them somewhere. So you have the action of taking items and you have the action, action of using items. You have the action to talk. And that's about it. Design cage? Why would we do that? So that is Maggie, Margaret Dale. She's the main character of that game, kind of like one of the main protagonists, the other one being Gail P Pilgrim herself. Because we are carrying prisoners, almost two dozen souls from the Sharon Mining Station. Wait, they are carrying prisoners? If you destroyed us, you will destroy them. No, what will you do, Captain? I need you to prove that you have hostages. We don't negotiate with pirates, open fire! We need the hostages and we'll spare your lives. We have no choice, we'll disengage. So here I think that the best choice is the first one. Because you want to understand if they really have hostages. If they do, you have to have a different plan than if they don't. What proof do I have that you're really carrying hostages? I can't just take your words for it. Please! You have to help us! That was a terrible voice. Oh no! You have two minutes to call off that person! After that, it's kill or be killed. Choose wisely, Captain. Well, at least that buys us a little bit of time. Uh uh. Problem is, buys them time as well. It buys them time as well. Operator, send out a signal. Call for help. Technician, get me a schematic of their ship. Open fire. All weapon. We have no choice. Let them go. So, of course, here the best probably is to see the technician to hear about the ship itself. Because then maybe we can create a tactical plan to attack. I guess I was hesitating between the operator and the technician. But the problem is that if you call for help, they can escape. Technician, see if you can put up a schematic of a class of starship from our database. Right away, Captain! What do you have in mind, Daily? I've got it! It looks like we could disable their ship with a targeted strike on their engine room. So you see, we have a good plan now. So we can do something safer than just attacking or abandoning them. And we need to be precise for their reactor is in a very unusual position. If we hit that reactor, the whole ship is going to go up in flames. So now that's where you will need somebody that is smart enough to attack. Ooh, that must be a bug from <laughs> controller. As long as I have a schematic, I know exactly where to aim. It's going to be super easy. So we should probably believe Travis and just do what he suggests. Let's see. What do you say, Daily? I'm taking the shot myself. Alright, you take the shot. This is too risky. Let them go. Trust your teammates. It's important to trust them, so... So... <laughs> so that's the funny thing, is that since... I, I don't know what I said in all those things in the past. I don't remember. But now I'm just trying to reproduce some things I already did, which is pretty funny, if you ask me. Okay, Travis, I'm going to let you take this shot. Don't make me regret this decision, alright? Just trust me. I'm sending you the schematic now. Got it. I can see where the target is. Weapons ready. Targeting... Firing! Yes, that's it! Directed! The pirate ship is disabled, Captain. 
Where am I going anywhere? Nice work! Operator, send a message to the pirate captain. Tell him to prepare to be boarded. Right away, captain! Alright, we finished our simulator. And apparently we succeeded. Alright, cadet. This flight simulation is over. That was really intense. What did you think of our performance, Colonel? You will rejoin the rest of the class in the briefing room for a detailed analysis. You know what? I thought you did a pretty good job. So Travis is kind of hitting on Maggie. But he wants to be captain too. I guess I was talking about him being the brother and sister and him being kind of like a, a little bit of a bad boy in the first episode, on the first uh, year. I don't know. <laughs> you think so? Only pretty good. These are a few thing there are a few things I would have done differently. Don't worry about it. Not everyone is meant to be a captain. But you think you have what it takes, right, Travis? It doesn't matter what I think. Some things are just written in the stars. I'm the best pilot in the class. My grades in tactics, politics and logistics are solid. I guess you could say that I'm destined for command. But I hope you're in my crew daily. I mean that. That guy is so full of space gas. <laughs> well, I mean... Okay, here I'm gonna start to actually look at things all around. That's why it say, Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure if I meant... Oh, yep. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> so in the game, basically, you can press kind of like everything and you will see that most of the time you get an answer back. Like your character is saying something about every little detail of uh, elements that are on the... any, you know, items that is on, on your screen. And I really like that. I think that's a great thing that they did in that game. I wonder if it's real shuttle fuel in here. So you see, that was an example of what she says because we looked at the shuttle fuels. I think that it kind of helped uh, get the universe in. Because some of those items are things that does not exist in real life, so it's better to talk about it. So now we're really going to get started to be uh, in the game. Right now we were just in one of a classroom, like one of a teaching. And as you know, since it's named Space Pilgrim Academy, obviously you will have multiple like classes. The first year had a lot of small classes here and there if you played it. The second year has like a very long set of scenes sometime in the classroom, especially to get like a lot of um achievements. So here I'm going within the the menu just to show you the menu. I guess I was talking about like the controller and the way that it moves. You can see that on the menu you always, you always have a mission log so like that you can understand what to do next. You can save, you can see your items and that's about it. All right cadet, all three of our crews have not com completed the Black Rift scenario. You should know that it's extremely rare for anyone to achieve a positive outcome from this particular simulation. It is considered to be one of the most challenging of all the flight deck simulation programs. So in this case, I will not be personally assessing you. Instead, your performance will be evaluated by someone with far more recent experience. Captain Altari?
Let's get right to it then! I will not be qualifying any my remarks with any comment on the difficulty of a Black Rev scenario. Anyone with a talent to become a commanding officer in the Space Warden should be able to handle this situ simulation. Cadet Tristan Owens, you were the captain of the first crew. Tell me, did you really believe that firing a warning shot would intimidate a crew of seasoned space pirates? Uh, maybe? I see, a fatal error on your part. Caddy Moss, as the commanding officer of the second crew, you were woefully indecisive. As soon as you discovered there were civilian hostages on board the ship, you froze. Why is that? I didn't freeze. So that is Kenrick Mo Moss, which is one of the other main characters in that game. I was trying to calculate the best possible course of action. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. And what was the eventual outcome? The pirate captain managed to disable my ship and escape with the hostages. So you failed! Cadet Margaret Dale, after everything I've learned about you, I watch your performance with some interest. I've heard. <laughs> You successfully disabled the enemy vessel and saved the lives of the hostages. It was actually rather impressive. Among your classmates, you have the one who showed the most aptitude for command. Yay! Thanks! Don't be too proud. You did not have very much in the way of competition. I got an achievement. <laughs> this year class is even worse than the last, Colonel Ken. As it's red, I weep for future. So that's cool that action actually does record the achievement here. I was really worried that you couldn't see that there's achievement in this game, but you can see it. I must have said something about the achievements here. I think that in this one there's not that many achievements, there were like 8 or 9. I disagree. I've seen much potential in the students. Granted, it may be well done, but it is there. I see. I will not fall into despair just yet then. We're finished for today. You are dismissed, cadets. So you know when you do voice acting, it's very hard to remember which one you did for what. Sheesh, that woman is scary. Yeah, and what with that mask she wears? It's not a mask, more like a prosthetic. A prosthetic? Well, I heard that her jaws got blown clean off by a plasma rifle. A rifle? Ooh, no wonder she's so grumpy. Where the heck is Diane? It's not like her to skip out of class. I saw her sneak out of here as soon as her simulation was over. Knowing her, she's probably just gone to study for one of Miss White's astrophysics tests or something. Diane is another very important character. She was like the friend of Margaret Dale when she just started at the academy. Because Maggie didn't start at the beginning of the academy, she started kind of like in the middle of the first year. And a lot of the students did not understand why she was there to begin with. Because she was just saved by, by uh, Gail Pilgrim. Anyway, Miss White is Sabina White, which is another character from the main Space Pilgrim game. I don't know, seems strange to me. I'm gonna go and look for her in the dorms. Okay, you do that. I'm gonna stay right here until Captain Altari leaves. I don't even want to walk past her. I'm with May on this one. See you later, Maggie. 
Travis has better not be appointed as my captain. I might quit. So yeah, that the third year is the year that they decide who is captain. My heart is still beating pretty fast, or whatever each cadet will do. Why do they have to make this simulation so scary? Altari doesn't scare me. I saw on Ken. I was on Kenry's crew. I'm not sure he's really cut out to be a leader, you know. I don't know why I stay so long on this. Probably to talk about Kenrick because he has like a computer in his mind or whatever. I'm glad that's over. Tree stunts really wasn't bad as a captain. Altari was just being mean. Okay, I went to save. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be hearing more about you. Excellent job in that simulation, cadet. I'm proud of you. The whole class could watch the simulations on this screen. It's kind of nerve-wracking. So everybody was spied in a way. Hey, I was in that simulator for longer than I thought. That's a nice plant. <laughs> That's a nice plant. They say that so many times in this game. If you do like more. Yeah. Act 1, Terminus. So there's a total of 3 acts in this game. I don't think I need to go back back in there today. There's a total of 3 acts. Okay, I'm just visiting things around and see what other things that I can touch and... Good morning, Space Cadet! <sighs> it's bad enough that Gail has been gone for so long. I wish I didn't have to see her face and hear her voice every day. Score from the latest flight test. I wonder how long it will be before they let us fly to real starships rather than the flight deck simulator. Remember the three A's. Altruism, Awareness, Adventure. Pay attention to your teachers. No runnings in the halls. I can't see you. Just kidding. Welcome to Unity College. No running in the halls. So let's see. I'm going to win this Academy Chess Tournament this year. Academy is just, ju just you wait and see. So most of the time, as you can see, there's only one answer. So here I could press actually the school planner in order to see if I have a next, uh, a next class. I don't have any class today, or at least that's what she was saying, I guess. All right, now we're out of a Unity section or building. So the second galactic war was the war thing that you see on Space Pilgrim on the first game, if I remember properly. And I probably said that the musics are new, because on uh, year one and year two they didn't use that music at all in the, at the school. For the record, I don't think my dad should have arrested Gail. It's definitely made my life harder here. Yeah, so the dad is the Admiral de la Court who arrested Gail because Gail decided to say in the previous episode, at the end of the previous episode, year two, that the space wardens are kind of lying to the people in front of a TV, <laughs> like everybody, uh, something was filmed in Venus, where there's a diplomatic um, gathering of all the governments and all the leaders of the world. Well, I guess it's of the universe here, not the world. So here you can select what to do next uh, within uh, the school. To be fairly honest, here there were not that much of going back and forth 
in the school itself in that game. Oh, I don't remember there was that many of this, which which is a good thing because after year one and year two that were many many concentrated into that uh, place was places you would want something a little bit new i remember that the space pilgrim episode 3 kind of did the same well space pilgrim one, episode one was so small in scale compared to what uh, all the other episodes from that <laughs> academy game is that I guess it was easy to quickly change of background. So I guess I visited everything as usual to make sure that I look at everything and understand what people say, if there's anything that is said or whatever. And you can see that here there's not that much that is happening at all. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna say everything that she says because some of them are not that important. You can read it yourself too, I guess, but um, that's about it. So okay, we're going to the dormitories and that's when we're gonna check for Diane and see if Diane's there or not. I'll probably try to look around just to see. I can't believe that I lost all the audio on this. So there is an achievement for the darts, but not with Maggie, actually with Gale. So here it doesn't really matter, but I was wondering if a dart <laughs> achievement was from there, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about here, but um, in the previous episode, in year two, there's a band that you have to hire that were there. On year one, there was something that you need to do here on year one. But in year three, you have nothing to do here. I don't. I don't remember that there is anything special to do here. So I'm kind of losing a little bit of time <laughs> visiting things around. <laughs> and I'm trying the jukebox to see all the different music that's available because they're different. Alright, we did the loop. So there is also a Galaxy Trucker achievement. So the Galaxy Trucker is supposed to be like a cartoon that the characters was looking at, uh, was watching. Looking at makes no sense here to say. Sorry. But it's not here either. It's much much later that you get that achievement, just before the end of the game actually. For those who wonder. Uh... 
So yeah, as you can hear, I'm a big fan of achievements, so I absolutely need to do a game like a hundred percent. And that's why I spend so much time on games. I cannot, I cannot tell you how long I'm probably gonna spend on Final Fantasy VII Remake or The Last of Us Part II, which are the two games that I'm playing right now on PlayStation 4. Knowing that Final Fantasy VII Remake, at the time that I'm doing that video, I did finish it in normal mod, but as some of you may know, on Final Fantasy VII Remake, the hard mod allow you to get much, much more manuscripts so like that you can get the weapon skills uh, trophy. <laughs> so I will have to do that, I guess. Man, still nothing from Gale. We were looking at uh, Le Mail. I haven't heard from her for a few weeks. I hope she's okay. Alright. So why they're saying that Remain Vigilant is that on the first year they were like terrorist attack in the in, in, in the school, kind of. Alright, let's go to 4B, which is where the character is uh, sleeping with May and Diane. And I don't know why I'm not moving yet. Maybe I was explaining that too. Hmm. No sign of Diane. I knew we should have kept those old walkie-talkies. <laughs> Maybe she left some clues about where she went. That's true. We don't have a walkie-talkie anymore. Maybe that's why I stayed so long into the <laughs> into the items uh, place earlier when I, when I was in the menu. It's to show that the walkie-talkies disappeared, which is something that was given on year one, and I think on year, on year two you can use it, like, um, a lot in the game. But obviously here you don't. I wonder... Aha! Diane didn't shut down the computer properly. I can see what she was using it for most recently. Looks like she was checking today's arrival at Aegina Spaceport. Has she gone to meet someone there? More importantly, why would she be keeping it a secret? Not liking the idea of spy spying on Diane, but what if she's some kind of trouble? She's not normally this mysterious. I don't have any more classes today. Maybe I could head to the spaceport and find out what's going on. I just need to ride the monorail into Aegina City. Alright, so let's do this. Hmm. Maybe I could watch it just once since I'm alone. Hello, Margaret. I'm alive. I'm well. That's the mother. Which we think was potentially prisoner, a prisoner or killed, or at least that's what we think in the first uh, episode of Space Pilgrim Academy. But as you can see, it's not the case because she received something from her mom saying that she's okay. In this game, they don't necessarily make you learn more about the mother as much as the two other episodes. Because in the first episode, they do talk. Oh, I am unable to reveal my present location, but know this. You are exactly where you need to be. There are forces in the universe which have driven us apart. But all of this has happened for a reason. Embrace your gifts. Do not allow anyone to make you feel afraid. You are stronger than they are. You are stronger than all of them. You are my daughter. Tell no one about this message. <sighs> Must have watched it a thousand times. Still doesn't make sense to me. What the he Where the heck are you, mom? 
so the mom wasn't kidnapped. <laughs> That's what you need to understand from here, right? Because on year one, you think, oh, she was killed or kidnapped. We don't know. On year two... On year two, we discover that Margaret or Maggie has a special power where she can read the mind of other people while they're sleeping, or at least she can relieve their past or something like that. Ah, perfect timing. So yeah, the power that uh, Maggie has will be actually very important. Do not forget about it because this episode will clarify some items on this. Will also lead a bit clarify about the mother who she could be. But visiting the spaceport always make me wish I was going somewhere. Hmm. I don't know what I was trying to say here. Maybe to continue to talk about. The story? I don't know. But as you can see here, we're outside. And there's not that much uh, that you will be able to do here, to be fairly honest with you. Hmm. I spent a long time. I don't know what I was talking about. But anyway, what you have to know with Space Pilgrim Academy is that Margaret and Gail are both of the protagonists, as I said. And we will play with Gale in that game too. Don't worry about it, like it does happen. If you were wondering about it. Hey! Are you supposed to be doing that? Yes. I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Are you? Uh... I'm just going to the spaceport. If you're about to brave a void, kid, I would advise against it. Don't you know that these flying chariots are powered by soul-killing machines? Really? I thought they were powered by quantum hyperdrives. Two names for the same thing. Humanity produces evil as B produces honey. Only now we do it on a galactic scale. Turn away, kid. Turn away from this crumbly tower of Babel. Well, he was pretty talkative for Vandal. All right, we're gonna meet Diane. Aha, Maggie, what 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 are you doing here? So that is Diane, the best friend. Come on, Diane. Do you really think you can act all suspicious and interesting and not have me follow you around like some crazy stalker? I mean, what choice did I have? <sighs> I guess. So what's the deal? Are you about to blast off to some of the cooler star system and leave us all behind? Of course not. I'm, uh... I'm actually meeting my dad. He's heading, heading to a conference in Prussian and said he would stop off here for a few days. Nice! So what's with all the secrecy? I don't know. I guess I just feel weird about my family. My dad is an ambassador or an admiral or a famous scientist. He's, uh, he's not like everybody else's parents. So what? Are we supposed to think less of you because he runs a hover car repair shop? No, I know it's silly. I've always wanted to meet another Romero. This is going to be great. Where's he supposed to arrive? Well, I'm a bit worried. According to the arrival board, his, fli his flight landed an hour ago, but he still hasn't come through. Huh. Maybe he got delayed somewhere. Wanna go find him? But we can't get upstairs without tickets. So we'd better get ourselves a pair of tickets, right? I don't know if it's such a good idea. 
come on, where's your sense of adventure? Hmm, fine, fine. I know it's pointless to argue. I remember a funny scene on year one where Diane has to be like inside the cart and all that stuff because of because of uh, Maggie. So here I'm just gonna talk with all the people that are around, so Nice pipe! But you know there's no smoking in here, right? I know. I never actually liked the damn thing. I just think it makes me look distinguished. Hmm, what is it? Ask about destination. Are you going anywhere nice? Not especially, no. Just a business to Planet Tanancy. The board is thinking of opening a new office there. If you ask me, this galactification of our business has gone far enough. Why? Just this past quarter alone with... I'm sorry. Am I boring you? Oh, of course not. I was just trying to imagine with my friend what, what my friend would look like with a pipe. Please try to stay focused, Maggie. Well, I hope you have a good journey. We'll see. First class cabins are what they used to be. Oh, it's still pretty good. <laughs> I can assess to... Well, not first class, but business class. This must be the man's luggage. So you see here, we have like the perfect example of things that you can potentially do. Look, open, use item, cancel. You will see a lot of that. So on this one, you can see that you can even offer an item to that lady. Hey lady, how are you doing? Apart from my entire life blasting out the airlock, you mean? Sorry, it's been a difficult few days. That sounds bad. Do you want to talk about it? No, not especially. Where are you blasting off to today? Nowhere, unfortunately. I can't seem to escape this damn planet. I'm just waiting for my husband to get off work. He's the chef as, at the restaurant up there. Say, are you guys heading through to the departure zone? Hopefully, yeah. Could you deliver this note to my husband then? We had a terrible argument last night. I can stand to leave things the way they are between us. Sure, we can do that. What were you two arguing about? His damn Westworld thief of a brother, that's what! The two of them were planning to go into business together, building a small farm out in the new arable zone. I told him it was a terrible idea. I told him his brother would never follow through. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. He ran off to Tosetti, leaving us with a pig, a dozen chickens, and a mountain of dead. Oh no, that's awful. I don't know, pig and chickens are kind of cute. Pigs and chickens. Just deliver this not, alright? You'll find him behind the counter at that little restaurant upstairs. Hopefully we can find a way out of this mess. Alright, so we have some things that we can use. The apologetic note. So actually, if you press it, you can read it. Look, forget everything that's happened. We can find a way to get out of this. We just need to get rid of that damn pig, clear your devs, then everything can be just like it was before, XOXOXO. Well, it was more like XXX, but... <laughs> Alright, I bet there will be some coin. Yep. So we have one credit. You will see that in the game they do show the, the money, but they nearly never use it. I always found that pretty hilarious. And it's like that on all Space Pilgrim. Ha! Ah, good old fashioned newspaper! How could this ever possi How could this ever possibly die out? <laughs> the front page has a feature about a new line of affordable butler bots and a disturbing story about a recent uptick of pirate attacks in the outer systems. No news about Gale. Last I'd heard, we'd found a reason to delay your trial again. 
It's always good to keep up with the news, I guess. Oh, I went too fast here. Yeah, sometimes my uh, my A button on my Xbox controller is getting stuck for some reason. But here we have a newspaper, and as you hear, there was something about the pirate, right? So the pirate attacks, and you will see why. <laughs> pretty, pretty soon, maybe. So you see, it's kind of like more like a puzzle type of game, right? You can talk with people, you can try to use items here and there. There's other games like that that I really like. If you ever played like the Amtaro games on Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, a lot of them are like that. And they're very cool. I really love them. They're, I should probably do like a, a game preview of those or even a game review because I finished those. I could have done a game review by the way here, I guess, but since it's only the beginning of the game, I would prefer to just talk about the beginning of the game. So here basically you're gonna talk with that guy, that guy wants to go to a space system that is very far away, but then you're gonna give him the newspaper so like that he knows that there's a lot of pirates and he's gonna try to not go anymore. Because he's leaving for his kid. So that's what you're reading, and I didn't, you know, I'm not doing the, the, the voice acting here. <laughs> I love running in circles, by the way, myself. I think it's a very fun thing to do. <laughs> no, I'm just doing this because now I got a Fitbit and I need to do at least 3,000 steps a day. And with the current epidemic, it's very hard to actually <laughs> do more than 3,000 a day, especially if you're working and you have to take a lot of meetings at work. So I think I played for, okay, this video is 57 minutes, <laughs> so I played for an additional like approximately 10 minutes. You can see here on the, what I'm playing is basically pretty straightforward and easy. Actually before I stopped that video I kind of got stuck, or I wasn't sure what to do and then I realized what to do pretty fast. I was just needed to talk at the restaurant level and do something over there but because I was so annoyed that my voice was not recorded into that particular video I actually didn't play Space Pilgrim Year 3 for like maybe a couple of weeks or a couple of months <laughs> so I had to take it back from there but I thought it was pretty straightforward and easy look at that I cannot even talk to that kid or it's very hard for me <laughs> All right, we're gonna talk with people that will give us some kind of tickets pretty soon. Excuse me, do you have any super ship tickets? Like, basically free? No. Well, it was worth a shot. Was it for? <laughs> it's funny, I didn't think about the newspaper straight off the bat, I guess. So I just like, oh, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Here, I'm handing out this free newspaper. This free newspaper. Well, thank you. I've been meaning to check the Zero G Football League tables. Ah, oh, that stash. <laughs> Is something wrong? It says here that Pyrex attack in the outer systems are up by 37%. I thought things were supposed to be getting better out there. Well, apparently not because. You'll see later on that you will have to probably do something at a mining station. I'm not gonna give more details here, I'm already at the spoiler area I guess by saying this. 
So basically here is going to give us his ticket. And now that we'll have airplane tickets, we can go in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah basically Diane is saying that it was a little bit uh, manipulative But you see that that game always has a little bit of a sense of humor and I think that we did a great job about that too So okay, we just succeeded to do the first part of the puzzle, now it's time to do the second one. Alright, as usual, I'm looking around just to see everything. You will see that the baggage, luggage that is here will be important for later on. But right now you cannot do much with it until you understand what you have to do next. But I'm not going to give you the clue because if you want to play the game, you will want to understand what to do next and I don't want you to be spoiled about all the interesting little puzzle elements of that game. Because that's what's the most important in this game, in a way. Apart from the story, you have a lot of puzzle elements. Oh, that's interesting, they changed the music. <laughs> so you see here we can get a, a print of tags, so that means that probably you should use the tags with the bag, but what to do here is the question, right? But at least we already know one thing. We know that we're supposed to give a nod to the chef in the restaurant that is on the top left. Maybe that's what I should have done before stopping the game, but anyway. So you see that apparently that machine would not allow to give any tags for people that are not having a flight. So basically in this case you need to understand the name of different people. Like here we just found out the name of Charlotte Hudsley. Which may be the right name to use for this tag, who knows. <laughs> What's too easy of a clue, I guess, huh? So, yeah, that's approximately it. So, to talk about the game itself, I personally enjoyed it. I think I already mentioned that at the beginning of that video. I think that year 3 was a little bit more serious, a little bit more interesting than the others. Uh, than the others, meaning like uh, Academy Year 1 and Academy Year 2. I think that what's interesting in here is that you understand a bit more what's going on and you have much more like, it's not necessarily action, but there is a little bit more things going on, right? It's not just, oh, we had the academy with Maggie trying to get used to be in the academy. In 
this case it's a little bit more like discovering more of the universe in a way. Year one was definitely the one that was nearly a hundred percent at the school, which wasn't as interesting, I guess, than the year two, which is kind of like half and half here and there, and this one, which is nearly not at the school. So now I'm very excited to play Space Pilgrim Academy Reunion, which I will also do a game preview as I did for all of the other Space Pilgrim Academy. So like that you can get a, an understanding about the last episode of the franchise. I don't know if it's the last last episode of the franchise, because last time that there were classic Space Pilgrim, when I played it, this like two to three years ago, there were no Space Pilgrim, well, maybe the one Space Pilgrim Academy, I don't remember, but I don't think that they anticipated to do Space Pilgrim Academy at the time that they finished Space Pilgrim. I don't remember that the end of the game say the saga continue. Maybe it did, but I don't think so. Anyway, thank you so much everybody for watching Tosser Show. I hope that you liked the game preview of Spare Pilgrim Academy Year 3. I hope that you give a chance to that game because I think that it's a simple game. It's a fun game. It's not that long, it took me approximately 6 hours to finish it. Every episode were approximately at the same level between 4 to 6 hours. But as you can see I'm pretty slow because I'm trying to go talk to absolutely everything. If you don't do that you should pro you could pro pro uh, you could probably finish it around 4-ish hours. And if you try to not do <laughs> the achievements, you definitely don't need like the 6 hours that I did. Alright, thank you so much everybody for watching. Please follow my channel if you liked that video or subscribe to my Facebook page if you watch it on Facebook on my on Facebook on Facebook Watch. If you watch that on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you like all the things I'm gonna do. I'm doing mostly game previews right now, so hopefully that's what you're looking for. So thank you everybody. Have a great time, ever if it's day or night or whatever you're doing <laughs> right now. And talk to you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.